Good evening, volleyball fans. Once again, welcome to the Red Zone, the main gymnasium here at Hicksville High School. As we are getting ready for our second live stream of this Thursday. It's girls' varsity volleyball action on deck for you here from the Red Zone as the East Side Indiana Blazers have made the trip across the border to take on the homestanding Lady Aces in varsity volleyball action here tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television alongside Chris Warner. He'll be running the camera and overseeing the uh, live stream this evening. And uh, we've uh, got, uh, well, we're, we're going to kind of see. It's in uh, a so-so year for the uh, Lady Aces so far. They've been right around the 500 mark. It's been a tough start to the season for the East Side Blazers, as uh, they're only uh, they've only gotten four wins so far in their volleyball season. Uh, they're from Indiana, of course, so their volleyball schedule and season may not exactly line up with the one that we have here in Ohio. But uh, it is kind of fun to have uh, a chance to uh, play an out-of-state team. So we'll look forward to that. Uh, it is senior night, and they had a nice ceremony at the end of the JV game. Uh, hopefully you were able to catch that on our junior varsity live stream as uh, they uh, played tribute to uh, Audrey Baird and to Martina Vasquez, the two seniors on the uh, squad. And we'll let you know that going into this match tonight, Aubrey Baird has 149 aces to her credit. One more gives her... 150, a nice round number. And it also will, I think, tie her with the most ever, which was Allie Slattery at 150. Or maybe she'll break the record, one or the other. But it'll be a huge accomplishment. So we'll be watching when Aubrey serves tonight. If she gets one ace, there'll be a brief stoppage, nothing major. But they will uh, recognize that achievement and do a little bit of celebrating. And we'll hope, uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed, Aubrey Baird picks up ace number 150 sometime during the match here tonight. Also want to thank all of our underwriters making our coverage possible. Our four diamond level underwriting supporters are the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Thanks also to APT Manufacturing Solutions located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at aptmfg.com slash careers. The Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Call 419-542-6218 for the latest information on flu shots, COVID boosters, and more. And, of course, Arc Solutions Incorporated, a world-class facility located right here in Hicksville's Industrial Park and also online at www.arcsolinc.com. Well, as soon as they uh, get ready to get things started here, the last 45 seconds ticking off the pregame clock, uh, of course, uh, we'll shut down the headset microphones and go down to the floor announcer, Mr. Paul Overmeyer, for the uh, national anthem introduction of players and so forth. Again, the fourth grade volleyballers are going to be recognized here as well. There's two teams, the black team coached by John Haggerty and the red team coached by Kayla Vetter and Krista Enkrot. And uh, they will be standing with the varsity gals and getting introduced along with them. That's always fun. We had the third graders on Tuesday night for Purple Out Night. And we've got the fourth graders tonight for Senior Night. And it looks like we're about ready to get things going. So I'm going to stop talking. We'll send you down to Mr. Paul Overmeyer on the floor at the Red Zone here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel coming to you live. Both Hicksville High School and Eastside High School are members of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Indiana High School Athletic Association and abide by the high standards of conduct and sportsmanship required during athletic competition. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a great country with freedoms like no other. In order to honor America and in respect for all who have served and who are currently serving to defend our, defend our freedoms, Please stand as Emma Huber Whitman performs our national anthem.
Life's Contest for Blake Whitman and Cole Whitman. Their experience and integrity qualify them for their important part in this friendly interscholastic volleyball contest. At this time, we would like to introduce the Hicksville Red and Black 4th grade Mini Aces. For the black team, coached by John Haggerty, Quinn Haggerty, number zero. Kenneth Heisler, number four. Mia Swarley, number 10. Maddie Brown, number 12. Number 24. Oh, and for the red team, Coach Mike is there. Number one, Elena Neal. Number two, Amelia Headley. Number three, Brooklyn Headley. Number eight, Vivian Handy. Number ten, Ella Gonzalez. Number 11, Raylan Feather. Number 14, Shelby Ingra. Number 25, Ricky Warren. And number 35, Kayla Redlett. Good job, girls. Now introducing the non-starter for both teams. For the East Side Blazers, number four, Mateo Redinger. Number 14, Leo Ranger. Number 28, Daniel Guerrera. For your hit places, number 5, Kennedy Adams. Number 6, McKenna Rice. Number 7, Abby McAlexander. Number 8, Mika Indra. Number 9, Lydia Van Scooter. Now introducing the starters for East Side. Number 7, Jenna Howard. Number nine, Ryland Mautler. Number 10, Bailey Weiss. Number 21, Lauren Hickey. Number 26, Addison Mautler. Number 27, Adelaide Elden. Romero, number one, Kaylin Valentine. And now here are your Hicks Places starters. Number one, the Kim Bears. Number two, Josie Smith. Number three, Taylor Slotty. Number four, Aubrey Bear. Number 10, London Sartman. Number 13, Elise Baldwin. Pomero, number 12, Martina Vasquez. So some fun with the youngsters out there joining the Varsity Girls. They uh, will go to the net to wish each other best of luck in the upcoming game, and we'll get ready to get the Varsity action underway here tonight. The Lady Aces standing uh, in, and uh, again, east side out of Indiana. The I, We had somebody comment, east side is not... A, it, it's the east side of Butler, Indiana. That's It's east side high school it's in the Butler area. Evidently, somebody was looking on a map for East Side, the name of a town in Indiana, and finding it didn't exist. So they sent Christopher an yes. email saying, hey, wait a minute. So, no, it is not a town called East Side. It is the east side of the Butler area that the high school serves. I apologize if I confused anybody. It was not my intent. So it'll be the Blazers and the Aces. Uh, Christopher, you always check. How's the Blazers season been so far? Okay, so we're going to start off with the East Side Blazers. Of course, they're out of Indiana. Uh, they are part of the Northeast Corner Conference. Uh, their overall record is 4-14, four while their conference record is 1-6, and, and they are 10th placed in the Northeast Corner uh, Conference. For the Hicksville Lady Aces, their overall record is 9 wins and 5 losses, and they are 2-2 two and two for a 50% overall record in the Green Meadows Conference. Yeah, so so East Side comes into they've already played 18 matches, whereas the Lady Aces are at about 13 or 14. 13, so, yep. So I don't know whether the Indiana uh, season starts a week or so earlier than ours or how, how it works, but 
That's okay. We're getting ready to get things underway. Martina Vasquez is going to have the ball. It'll be best three games out of five to win the varsity match. And the Aces will have the first serve. Here we go. We're underway on Hicks TV. And an ace for Martina Vasquez. I guess we should point out too, Bill, the theme is blackout tonight yep. for senior night. And again, uh, all of the uh, students here at Hicksville are admitted free to the volleyball match this evening, courtesy of the Sherwood State Bank. So I want to thank Sherwood State Bank for picking up the tab for the kids to be able to come and enjoy volleyball for free here tonight. Nice for them to do that. Vasquez's third serve. Set up and over. Sartman and it tapped over by Baird. Nice recovery and they get it back over. Baird, Vasquez, Aubrey Baird and it's going to be a little bit too much on it. It'll be out. That'll be the first point of the night for the Blazers. And they'll serve for the first time in this varsity match here this evening. Head coach Kent Mitchell for the East Side Blazers and of course Samantha Lavin for the Lady Aces. Elise Baldwin taps it over and not quite enough on it. That was Haley Weiss, number 10. And back to serve for the Lady Aces, Evie McAlexander wearing number seven. McKenna Baird has a seat. Smith in the game. Another nice recovery for East Side. Vasquez, Aubrey Baird, and Baldwin too much on it. Got a little bit of adrenaline going, it seems like. Uh, kind of hyped up here on senior night. As the Lady Aces have been floating a couple of them out, uh, out past the end line. Number four, Mattia Redinger. Redinger. Gets the ace. Redinger will get another, and we're tied at three. Here we go. Redinger. McAlexander, Baird, and Baldwin drops it in. Nice. Elise Baldwin. Good job there. Smith comes out, and... Van Scooter in. And here we go. Aubrey Baird. Getting ready to serve. Baird. And that'll be Inkrot. Right back. Oh, nice try by McAlexander. Weiss, ball's in the air. Alexander gets it over. And that's going to be into the net for the Aces. So the Blazers now with a one-point lead, and that's going to be a two-point lead for the Blazers. Vasquez to Baird. Over it goes. That was Inkrop that got it over. Nice block by McAlexander, or no, excuse me, that was Baird. No, it wasn't, it was not. It was, <laughs> it was Elise Baldwin. I'll get it eventually, Chris. Nice little tap over, but out of bounds. Another point for the Aces. And Elise Baldwin drops back to serve. Baldwin, good looking serve. Tap it over, McAlexander, 
And Baldwin will push it back across. Baird. And that's Van Scoter into the net. So he's is down by one. And with the one-point lead, Lauren Hickey back to serve for east side. Into the net. That'll tie us at seven and give the Lady Aces back to serve. And Skoder, Baird sets it up and Slattery in. Slattery hits the corner. Point for the Aces. Leah Ranger comes into the game for East Side. Now well, they're going to say nope, that it was out. That's overruled. All right. So it's 8 7. And serve goes to East Side. Again, Ranger with the serve. Slattery, Baird, Slattery again. That one's in. I think she did that just to show that she, she could do that. First time, maybe a little bit of a fluke. Second time wasn't. I'll even at eight and Leah Van Scoder, or Lydia Van Scoder, excuse me. Baird off the hands of a couple of east side defenders and out of bounds. And Skoder is going to have another serve here. Nice setup, and that'll be too much on it. Skoder, another good serve. Another nice setup for east side. And almost a great block. Came down on the uh, wrong side of the net for the Aces. Smith back into the game for Hicksville. And back to serve. Libero number one. Kalen Ballantyne. Ballantyne into the net. And we've made a pretty much a rotation now. So Martina Vasquez back to serve again. Vasquez, nice looking serve. And that'll be another point for the Aces. Good spin on that serve from Martina. Almost got another one there. Baldwin taps it over, and that'll be a point. Weiss just uh, didn't have enough altitude on the ball to get it clear the net. Vasquez serving again. Another good-looking serve from Martina. Nice block, and that'll be Ace's point. Timeout on the floor. Ace is leading by five, and East Side will call their first timeout of game one. Bill and Chris, happy to have you here with us. If you are just joining us uh, earlier, our first live stream, the uh, JV match went to the Aces in straight sets, two game to none victory there. And uh, senior night tonight, of course, uh, nice little ceremony for Martina and Aubrey between the matches. And I guess they're going to have another little... Uh, sort of a ceremony type thing after the varsity match wraps up. And if it's not too late, we're not too tired, we may hang around for that too. Put that on the live stream as well. <laughs> I know Chris needs his sleep. 
Oh no, I was uh, the student section was on a roller coaster there for yeah, a they second. Were, they were working on the follow the leader. Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, a, synchroni a synchronized thing that they were doing. Like sort of a flash mob type thing. Like the old wave that they used to do in the stadiums. Vasquez over the net and out. Martina just misses on the sideline on the far side. There'll be a point for the Blazers and dropping back to serve for east side is Eldon, Adelaide Eldon, number 27. Eldon to Vasquez, Baird, and Baldwin. Baldwin finds the hole in the defense and gets the point. Sartman will come out. So will McKenna Baird. Stasis will put Inkrot back in. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Yep, out of bounds. Evie McAlexander back to serve. Another good one. Good job by Aces. The Aces not crashing into the net on that one. Get the point. Nick Alexander will serve again. Another good looking serve from Evie, and that'll be another point. As it just goes off the hands of Moffer. Moffler, excuse me. Alexander, that one's going to be just outside. Just missed on the corner. But a point for the Blazers into the game, number four, Redinger. And coming back into the game as well, number 26, Addison Moffler. A couple Mofflers out there now. Redinger to serve. High Archer, McAlexander. Baird and tipped over by Baldwin. And again, she finds the spot. And once again, Aubrey Baird back to serve. Lydia Van Scoter back into the game for the Aces. Aubrey Baird. Over it goes. And that's off of Baird's hands and another point for the Blazers. In. Just inside the line. Ace for east side. Another serve coming up for Wies. And Skoder. Gets the point. Good job, Lydia. Aces hit 20. Vasquez will step out. Slattery back into the game for Hicksville. Baldwin. Tap over Baird. Looking to get something set up here. That'll be out. Good job, Mika Inkrod, holding up and letting that hit out of bounds. As Elise Baldwin back to serve. Baldwin puts the ball up. Nice block. And a slattery right there. Redinger puts it over for east side, and there's Slattery again. Into the corner. Another serve for Baldwin. Baldwin, Baird, and Crot. Ah, doesn't quite make it. 
Oh, came down on the wrong side. So that is a point after all, and that means game point for the Aces. I thought he came down on our side of the net. Baldwin puts it up. Looking to wrap this one up. And not that time. Van Scoder. Baird. Slattery. That'll be a point for East Side. Hickey back to serve for the Blazers. And that'll be out. So game one will go to the Lady Aces. 25 to 14. And they'll take a one game to none lead in this best three out of five varsity volleyball match. And we'll take some time to say a big thank you to one of our diamond level underwriting supporters here at Hicksville Community Television, underwriting all of our ACE sports coverage. And that's our good friends at Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park, a world-class facility, offering all kinds of solutions for business and industry, including robotics, plasma, welding, so much more. You can find out about all the many things that they do, and uh, they do a lot of incredible stuff. Check them out online at www.arcsolinc.com. We want to thank them so very much. Whenever there's anything going on in the community, uh, looking for community support, uh, the splash pad comes to mind, several, several other things, you'll always see Arc Solutions listed as one of these supporters. They're such tremendous members of our Hicksville community, and we're so proud to have them as one of our Diamond Level underwriters, again, making all of our Aces sports coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television. So a huge thank you once again to Arc Solutions Incorporated, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at www.arcsolinc.com. Well, we're not quite done with our sports live streams for the week here on Hicksville Community Television. Uh, we have got uh, one more to go. Tomorrow, uh, Christopher and I are going to be on the road heading down to Paulding County, heading to Paulding, to Paulding High School uh, for uh, Aces football action. Panthers will throw out the welcome mat for the Aces, and Christopher and I will be there. We'll be on the air with our pregame Show at about uh, five minutes before 7, 6.55 on Friday night. Thank you in advance to, uh, again, the Paulding Athletic Department for giving us some space and allowing us to be there with the live stream coverage. We're looking forward to it. It's been a long time since I've done a football game at Paulding, so and, I'm kind of uh, looking back to see. I'm looking forward to seeing, seeing it. It's been a while. I think they've done some upgrading and some changing, so we'll look forward to it on Friday night which I don't think I've actually been to Pauling High School, at least the football stadium. I know I've been to the basketball uh, court uh, a couple times with the yeah. Lady Aces when I uh, filmed with yep. their football, uh, their basketball team, sorry. But, but last year was the first year with Paulding officially in the GMC, yes. and it was a home game for Hicksville. So, so yeah, we're going to be traveling there. The last time I did a game from Paulding High School, a football game from Paulding High School, it was, it was audio only. Let's put it, <laughs> let's put it that way. Uh, on the wireless back in the Stone Age. We'll get ready to get game number two underway. It'll be the East Side Blazers. We'll have the volleyball and the serve to start game two. And it looks like it'll be Adelaide Eldon with the serve. Just a sophomore. But she's built like a volleyball player. She's a tall girl. Eldon puts it over. Baird and Elise Baldwin. That one goes straight up to the rafters. It comes back down. They'll tap it over. And Baird and again Baldwin. And Baldwin drops it right in. Yep. I had a good look at that myself from up here. So the Aces will get the serve back right away. London Zartman will check out. Evie makes Alexander in, and she'll drop back to serve. Yeah. 
Evie puts the ball up, and that one went off the side of her hand. A, a very atypical serve for McAlexander as a, they'll trade points. And it one all. Redinger back to serve for the Blazers. Vasquez, Baird, Baldwin. Little tap over, nice. And well done. Aces recover from that. And it looked like they were going to lose that one, but they managed to pull it off and salvage a point. And Aubrey Baird will drop back to serve. Baird. Blocked up. Baird pushes it over. Redinger. Eldon and another nice save. And Baird will put it over again. Baldwin. Baird. Inkrot. Too much on it. Mika hit that one too hard. Out of bounds. And we're tied at two. Weiss back to serve now for east side. Into the net it goes. She'll come out right away and uh, Ballantyne back in. Baldwin. And that'll be trapped on the top of the net by east side, a point for the aces. Baldwin will serve again. And a little bit of an explanation to East Side as to why they made that call. Baldwin puts it over. Centered back up, over it goes. Alexander, Slattery, slap right back. Slattery saves it. Baldwin pushes it over. And Baird can't get to it that time. Baldwin steps out. Baker puts the ball up and into the net again. And McKenna Baird comes into the game. She'll spell Inkrot. And Zartman back into the game for McAlexander. And McKenna Baird back to serve now. Her team up by a couple. Bear just off the top of the net and it drops straight down. Almost impossible to defend that. It's more luck than skill usually, but we'll take what we can get. Bear it again. And that'll be out. It is. So McKenna Baird continues her service. And timeout on the floor. First timeout call of game number two, and again by the East Side Blazers out of the Hoosier State. And uh, Bill and Chris, glad to have you here with us. Hope you are enjoying our live coverage here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel on this Thursday night. And for those watching from over Butler Way, following their East Side Blazers, welcome to the channel. We're glad to have you with us. Hope you are enjoying the coverage here tonight. Again, it's a blackout night. They've got some uh, choreographed stuff they've been doing over in the student section off and on. And again, all of the uh, Hicksville students uh, got in free tonight, courtesy of our friends over at the Sherwood State Bank. So we want to thank them so very much for that. Nice thing for them to do. Aces will break huddle. They'll head back out onto the court. And East Side will get ready to do the same, and we'll get ready to get back in action here tonight.
McKenna Beard. Good serve, and that's coming our way. Out of bounds. But at least it did not go into the fans. We have ceiling fans here at the red zone, if you're not familiar with the red zone. Uh, the main gym here. At Beard's serve up. Heading towards the net, tipped back over, and that'll be on the aces. That'll be Slattery going into the net. That'll be a point for east side. We had a ball that went uh, up into the rafters and hit one of the spinning fans and uh, launched it. I mean, you couldn't have planned it any better. It was like a direct aim right for our camera. And Christopher eluded it for the most part, but it did uh, just catch one of our HDMI cables, so we lost our video feed for a couple minutes. A nice save by Eastside. And Scoder, and that'll be a point for Hitchfield. So we had, a, we had about two, three minutes, yes, on Tuesday where it was audio only. Never had that happen before, so now we kind of keep an eye. Whenever you, whenever you see a ball go straight up towards the ceiling, you might hear Chris and I have a sharp intake of breath because don't need to have that happen again. <laughs> it's it's one of those uh, unnamed yeah. jobs of a camera person. You got to be willing to swat away yeah. some balls. And I, and I guess, you know, it, it's one of those things. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing that happens. So it's already happened once in our lifetime, so we shouldn't have to worry about it ever again. Back to the volleyball action. Over it goes for Eastside and Vasquez. And Baird... Aubrey Baird just misses it into the net. 10-5 game. And Valentine serving for the Blazers. Valentine over the net. And Smith's first hit into the net, and Baird just couldn't quite get underneath it. McKenna Baird. Valentine gets one more serve. That went off the net. Nice save, and Vasquez will put it over for the Lady Aces. Nice block. Do it again. Yeah. That was London Sartman killing it that time. Vasquez drops back to serve. Elise Baldwin back up on the net for the Lady Aces. Vasquez serve over the net and just out of bounds. So they'll give him a point and East Side will get the serve back and again it'll be Eldon back to serve. Eldon. And Aubrey Baird puts it over. Will tap over. It was Sartman to McKenna Baird to Vasquez. And now Eastside will try to get it back over. Vasquez gets it for the Aces. Aubrey Baird and Evie McAlexander taps it over. And that got Zartman turned around and a point for the Blazers. Another serve for Eldon. Her team has closed the gap, now only down by three. And Elise Baldwin, a little authority on that one. Gave it a little extra mustard and gets the point. Sartman comes out, McAlexander in to serve, and also stepping out, McKenna Baird, and in for her is Mika Inkrot. It's pretty much a standard substitution at about this point for the Lady Aces. Set up and Baird taps it over. And that's into the net. And a point for the Lady Aces. Look Alexander back to serve again. Oh, that's nice touch and little finesse there from Haley Weiss. as Eastside gets the point and gets the serve back. Again, Redinger. 
Right to Vasquez. Baldwin. That'll be trouble. And point for Hicksville. They'll get the serve back. Lydia Van Scoter checks in for Smith. And Aubrey Bear drops back to serve again. Baird. Out. And that is ace number 150 for Aubrey Baird. You can see the little signs going up as everybody stands up and cheers. And that's, they, they, she didn't want a big celebration or anything like that, so we're back in action already. Vasquez. And Baldwin taps it over. So I'll have to double check. Coach Lavin told me, I don't know whether that broke the record or tied the all-time record for aces with Allie Slattery. So we'll find out. Oh, here we go. New school record. With 150 aces for the aces. So every ace from here on will be adding to the record, the new yep. school record. Yep. So, and she's got a little... Volleyball left to play here for Hicksville. Yes. So, so the next person that goes after that record is going to have uh, their have work their cut work out, cut for, out them. for them. Yeah. So congratulations again to Aubrey Baird. And uh, how fitting it is. I mean, it's senior night. All her friends got in for free and blackout. So, which I think that she's uh, got a gift basket waiting for her after the game. So I think that's Aubrey match. Baird's uh, second achievement. I know. I think she had a thousand career assists last year. Might be. So Baird will have the serve as we get back into action. That was the second and final timeout for game number two from Eastside's bench. Ace is up 16 to nine over the Blazers. Aubrey Baird probably able to relax a little bit now that <laughs> she's got that one out of the way. Baird serve. Over the net it goes. Baird saves that one. And tap it over again, and it drops right in. Baird, another good looking serve, and that one, another ace, 151. Oh, and that one into the net. That's okay. Eight-point lead for the Lady Aces as Weiss back to serve again for east side. Alexander, Vasquez, nope, that'll be a point for them. Vasquez almost ran into Van Scoder, and it was almost a... Circumstance where both of them might have hit the ball at the same time. Didn't matter anyway. It went straight up and came down out of bounds. Weiss. And that's another off the hands of Evie McAlexander, and it takes an awkward trajectory. Weiss. That went into the net. So she'll come right out and then back in the libero, Kaylin Ballantyne. And it will be Elise Baldwin back to serve. Baldwin just grazes the top of the net. And over it goes, and Baldwin, Baird, and Igcrot misses. Baker back to serve now for east side. Like Alexander to Slattery to Van Scoder. Inkrop misses again. It's not getting up quite high enough. And that's second. 
Slapped it right into the net the second time. Alexander to Baldwin and Slattery. Slattery finds the empty spot on the floor. Point for the Aces. They hit 20. Quick substitution for East Side as uh, Lauren Hickey comes back out onto the floor. McAlexander will step out for the Aces and McKenna Baird back to serve for Hicksville. Baird, another nice looking, and that's into the net, and it'll be a point for the Aces. Aubrey will throw the ball back to her younger sister. And McKenna, another good looking serve. That'll be out. Nope, they're going to say in. Okay. Looked like it was out to me, but maybe somebody grazed it as it went by. Either way, it's another point for the Blazers. They're hanging tough again in this game. Down by six. Ranger puts the ball up. Good serve from Ranger. And that's going to be trouble. It's not going to make it. So Ranger gets the job done. Pulls her team within five. Vasquez, Aubrey Baird, and Van Scoder, and that'll be a point for the Lady Aces. Fourth graders are enjoying themselves <laughs> up here on press row. <laughs> Van Scoder, high return, and it'll be tapped over. And another... Over the net again by the Blazers. And here comes Aubrey Baird with a spike for the point. And Scoder. Over it goes and a nice putback. That was Slattery, and that'll bring up game point for the Aces. And Scoder, high return, setting it up, over it goes. And Scoder knocks it across again, and that's going to be trouble for the Aces, and a point for the Blazers. Smith back into the game for Hicksville. They did a substitution on the east side side as well, but I didn't catch it. Ballantyne, and that'll be another point for east side. Valentine, Baird, and that'll be a carry, so. So one more serve for Valentine. Baird, Vasquez, and Baird again. Vasquez. McKenna Baird, Slattery, Vasquez, blocked again, Slattery, over it goes, and nice recovery, and they were caught looking, 24 to 20. Valentine puts it up. Vasquez. Vasquez again. That's just in. 
And timeout from the Aces bench. They're only one point away from wrapping up game two, but got a little flat-footed here in the last few minutes as the uh, Blazers have gone on a nice run to close the gap to just three, 21 to 24. Bill and Chris, we're glad to have you here with us tonight at the Red Zone on senior night. As uh, we still have a couple weeks of volleyball yet to go before we get to, uh, I believe, a sectional tournament gets underway the week of the 16th of October. So we uh, still even had the draw yet, so we're still waiting to see how things are going to shake out with that. Of course, as soon as we have that information and we have our schedule set for our tournament volleyball coverage, we'll pass that information along to you here on Hicks TV, either with our live weekly update or we'll post the information on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page. So follow the Facebook page if you haven't already done so. It's a great way to keep up with uh, all the things that are happening at Hicksville Community Television and any additions or alterations to our schedule. We'll have that information for you on the Facebook page. Chris usually does a pretty good job keeping that up to date. Kaylin Ballantyne back to serve yet again. Her team down by three. Slattery, and that'll be the game. Nice job, Taylor Slattery, and the Aces win game 2-25 to 21. So we'll take another break, and we'll get ready for game number three, and I'll say another big thank you to another one of our Hicks TV Diamond Level Underwriting supporters. And that will be the Hicksville Pharmacy. The Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. A full pharmacy for you and your family's pharmaceutical needs. They also have medical supplies and equipment, as well as over-the-counter medications, gifts, sundries, and so much more. Next time you're in downtown Hicksville, stop by and visit them. See for yourself what a difference being locally owned and operated makes. We want to thank the Myers family so very much again for their continued support of our Aces Sports broadcast. As a diamond level underwriter, they help support all of our Aces Sports coverage this year here on Hicksville Community Television. We cannot thank them enough. And hey, if you'd like to get the latest information on uh, flu shots, COVID boosters, or anything else, feel free to give them a call. It's 419-542-6218. We want to thank them again for their diamond level underwriting support. The Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. I know you're sad to see them go, Christopher, but the, the fourth grade red and black team has had to leave us now. And we'll get ready for game number three. Aces leading two games to none, so they could wrap it up with a victory here in game three. But as we've seen many times over the years, winning three in a row, not that easy at the varsity level in volleyball. So I'll take a pause for a little sip of my soda pop. Ah, that hits the spot. And we still have about a minute to go here before we get game three underway. Again, our sports coverage on the Hicks TV YouTube channel continues tomorrow night with varsity football action. Coming to you live from Paulding, Ohio, as the Panthers play host to the Aces for week number, gosh, it's hard to believe, week number seven already of the uh, high school football campaign. One week from tomorrow, it'll be a home game against Edgerton. That'll be senior night. Because next week on Friday is the last home game of the season. The Aces finish up on the road. The last two games they play will be at, uh, well, they'll play at Fairview, and then they'll finish off at Tenora. So we hope to be able to bring you coverage of all those games. We still haven't heard from one school, so we're still kind of waiting. We'll get it worked out. Which, Bill, on the non-sports side of things, uh, tomorrow is picture day for all grades K through 12 at Hicksville. That's right. Are you going to shave? Oh, well, seniors, uh, they <laughs> ask all seniors to dress up uh, formal attire because, um, of course, yeah. in our senior year, those photos will be used for any yeah. other activities throughout the year. So I, I got the nice yeah. white, you know, slim shirt. fit shirt, shirt and, shirt and, tie and yep. a jacket. And 
Why, why haven't dug out the jacket yet? I got to dust that dust that off tomorrow. I always wonder when they say you know seniors should dress in formal attire. I keep waiting for somebody to show up in like a white tie and tails, but so far it hasn't happened yet. Back underway, game number three. Oh, and that was just a mistimed hit. Moffler just missed the ball, and so. Vasquez, another serve. Towering return. Over it goes, and that'll be out. And that had too much on it. Martina Vasquez getting ready for her third serve here. And that's coming our way. Only two rows up, though, so I had about one, two, three, four, four, four rows of Safety buffer between me and... <laughs> I'm not as young as you. I don't move as fast. Valentine. Oh, and again, just missing Haley Weiss. Vasquez, he's moved over to the other side of the court for this set of serves. Over it goes. Vasquez, Aubrey Baird. At least Baldwin rocketed that one over. Baldwin taps it over again, and that'll be out. Aces held up, didn't go after it. Drops in, and 5 nothing lead now for Hicksville. Vasquez moves to the other side for this serve. Over it goes. And at least Baldwin again, a little tap over. McKenna Baird and that was Sartman. <coughs> now Smith, Vasquez, and Aubrey Baird. And Valentine just didn't get enough underneath that when it goes into the net. And a down six nothing, another timeout called from the east side bench as the Blazers want to talk things over. And I'm going to take some time to say a big thank you to another one of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters, and that is our good friends at APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and also online at aptmfg.com slash careers. Yep, you heard that right, careers. And that's because they're looking to hire some good people over at APT. They've got uh, a full listing at that website of all of the opportunities they have available, and many of them with specialized training and certification available. Great place to start a new career, a second career, or hone the skills you already have. You can fill out an application, upload your resume. They'd love to hear from you, and who knows, maybe you can become part of the APT manufacturing team. Couldn't think of a better place to work. Uh, that factory, is not only is it amazing, but I mean, pretty darn clean as a whistle and uh, safety like you would not believe. I want to thank again Tony Nicewander, the whole gang, uh, for their continued diamond level underwriting of all of our Aces sports coverage here on Hicksville Community Television. We hope you will do the same. APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, in the industrial park and online at www.aptmfg.com slash careers. Back in action, Vasquez up 6-0, puts it over the net. And there, that was well done. Dialed that one in, and Weiss uh, hit that one with authority and gets the first point on the board for game number three for the East Side Blazers. Vasquez. And she'll put it over. Nice setup, and that'll be right back at you. And a point for the Aces as they'll get the serve right back. London Zartman comes out for Evie McAlexander, who will drop back to serve. And Mika Inkrot will come in for McKenna Baird. So Evie McAlexander. Floats it over nicely. Over it goes, Weiss to Vasquez. Now Baird and Baldwin. Back over again. McAlexander, Baird, Baldwin again. 
Baldwin had some authority on that one, and it goes out on the side. And a point for the Aces. And that'll be an ace for McAlexander. McAlexander, another good looking serve. Right back to her. Aubrey Baird and oh, Baldwin just missed at that time. Bent her fingers back the wrong way and hits the deck. So another point for East Side and dropping back to serve Redinger back out on the floor. For the Blazers, they're down by seven. Redinger sees if she can put together a little bit of a run here for her team. Vasquez powers it over. High dig out, little tap over, Baldwin, and there's nobody backing her up. And it falls down in the empty space between the rows. Vasquez, Baird, nice, Aubrey Baird. Put a little extra on it, and it floated and drops in just inside the side boundary line. Point for the Lady Aces. And with that, Aubrey will drop back to serve. Baird serve, good one. Nice recovery by East Side. And again, Incrot. Misses the jump and slaps it into the net. It's not quite getting up high enough. Mistiming it just a little bit. Weiss back up to serve again. Weiss right to Vasquez. That's going to be trouble. That one went off, just took off, off right off of Vasquez. His hands right for the net and outdistanced the rest of the team. Weiss again to Vasquez. This time Baird is there, and Baldwin drops it over. Good job, Elise Baldwin, reading that very well. Vasquez will come out for a breather. Taylor Slattery in now for the Lady Aces, and Elise Baldwin back to serve. Baldwin, another good-looking serve. Over it goes. Slattery in. Another spike from Taylor Slattery. Taylor just a sophomore. We can be looking forward to her playing volleyball for a couple more years. And a nice block by Slattery. This time they push it over. Baird and Taylor again, and she gets another one. Baldwin, another nice serve. That one is going to go up, and it'll be a little tip over for the Aces. Nice recovery by East Side. Aubrey Baird, and again, Taylor Slattery, and now it'll drop in again. Nice spin on that one, and it uh, made contact with the east side defender and just took off in the wrong direction for east side. Baldwin again. Another high return. Will tap over. And Stan Scoder is going to have too much on that one. That one floated on Lydia. Could tell as soon as it went over the net that it was probably going to be out of bounds. 14 to 6 now. East side on the short end of the scoreboard, but they've got the ball and the serve. Up for Baker and into the net. So they give up an easy point to the Lady Aces. And Hicksville will get ready to substitute again. McKenna Baird in to serve as Inkrot will sit down. Evie McAlexander will come out as well for London's Artman. 
McKenna Baird over the net. Setting it up. Over it goes. Vasquez. Baird. And Slattery. They'll launch that one again. Van Scoder. And another hit. Oh. And Vasquez trips over her teammate and can't get there in time. I thought she was in pain, but she was laughing. She got up and she had this grimace on her face, but it was because she was trying not to laugh. <laughs> so Martina's okay. She hit the deck, but she's all right. Back in action, number 14, Leah Ranger back to serve. Ranger, good-looking serve right to Vasquez. Aubrey Baird and Slattery. Other way, into the net. Moffler puts it into the net, and another point for the Aces, and Vasquez will be back to serve again. Nope, I take that back. It'll be Lydia Van Scoder's turn. <laughs> okay, a bit of a pause here as the... Uh, Officials are just uh, double-checking to make sure that everybody is on the floor who's supposed to be on the floor and everybody is in the position they need to be. Lydia Van Scoder just over the net. And the defender for East Side was talking with her teammates and didn't even realize it until the ball rolled down her back. So Van Scoder with the ace, and here's her next serve. That one will be up, and nice block. And see if they can recover, they do. Vasquez, McKenna Baird, and that's Slattery getting the point. And Scoder again, another good looking serve. And that'll be another tap down. I can't tell if that was, I, they were both up there. It was either Slattery or Aubrey Baird that tapped that one down onto the floor. And Scoder again. Vasquez, McKenna Baird, and Aubrey Baird slaps it over. Again, Vasquez to McKenna Baird. That was London Zartman as the Aces hit 20 again. And Scoder's service continues. She's had a good run here. Lydia, another good looking serve. Vasquez, and that'll be number 10 into the net. So a point for east side. There was Zartman getting whistled for that. And again, Ballantyne back to serve. Oh, that was a nice setup. Smith, I'm sure she didn't intend to set it up that nicely for the opponents, but... That was perfectly positioned for that spike. Valentine will serve yet again. And again right to Smith. And this time Vasquez will knock it over. Aubrey Baird. McKenna Baird and Aubrey Baird again. Baird gets the point. And now Vasquez will drop back to serve. Slattery will come out and back into the game, Elise Baldwin. Vasquez gets it over the net. And right between the arms, that went right between the arms of Aubrey Baird and a point for east side. Allie Baker comes back out onto the floor for the Blazers. Eldon back to serve again. Vasquez, and that was slapped over by Aubrey Baird, and 
That heads over towards. And it just dribbles over. Sometimes better to be lucky than good. Aces will take the point. Evie McAlexander back in to serve and Mika Inkrot back in on the net. Aces up 22 to 10. Waiting for the whistle. Here it comes. Evie McAlexander, nice looking serve. Inkrot to Baldwin. Baldwin gets it. Baird set up Baldwin nicely. Baldwin tapped it over and it hits the ground and another point for the Aces. McAlexander to serve again. McAlexander, Aubrey Baird, and Elise Baldwin again for another point. So match point for the Lady Aces. And into the game, Kennedy Adams. She'll fill in for Mika Inkrot. Aubrey Baird comes out into the game. Number six, McKenna Rice. A couple of the younger players getting a chance to have some varsity playing time. McAlexander over the net. McAlexander, Baldwin, and Vasquez puts it over. Vasquez, Rice, Baldwin, and it's good. Baldwin spikes it, and the Aces win 25 to 10 for a three-game sweep of the varsity match. So congratulations to the Lady Aces. And again, they're going to be uh, doing some recognition for Vasquez and Aubrey Baird. So if I stop talking, that's the reason why. But I'll try to get in a final mention here for the last of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters. And that's the Jim Schmidt family. Oh, wait a minute. They're going to go ahead and write it. So we'll hold off. And we'll go down to the floor with the volleyball squad. And we'll be back to close out our live stream here shortly on Hicks TV. Or are they... Well, hang on here. They're grabbing their, their speeches, it looks like. Got the microphone. We do want to say a thank you to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and of course online at jimschmidtauto.com. Our diamond level underwriting supporters. If you're in the market for a vehicle, brand new pre-owned car, truck, van, or SUV, check out the great selection they have on the lots at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships. Remember, it's always about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. I want to thank them so much for their diamond-level underwriting support of all of our Aces sports broadcasts here on Hicksville Community Television. And now, well, no, the microphone cable is tangled up. So, again, we want to thank them. Now, 15 years that they've been doing that. We cannot thank them enough. And here we go. I'm going to a dancing with you in the middle of practice and laughing. 
energy. Through the ups and downs, you've demonstrated resilience and, un and an unyielding passion for the game that has propelled our team to new heights. Your infectious spirit and sportsmanship have been the glue that held us together, and it's going to be a challenge to imagine our team without you next season. As we approach the end of the season, I, want I can't help but feel torn. The thought of not getting to play alongside you after the season is a bittersweet one. While I'm sad that this chapter is coming to an end, I'm also excited to see the incredible journey that lies ahead for you, Martina. Now to get past all the soppy sweet stuff, I just want to say that we've had the most unforgettable moments together this season. From me punching you in the face multiple times when trying to cover my block, or even just trying to give you a simple high five, to the dance parties in the locker room and us almost always going full out like it's homecoming or prom, and to my favorite, the many and probably daily times during practice when we would just cartwheels and mess around until this lab and got mad and separated us. So let's enjoy this senior night and congratulations on all you've achieved so far. And here's to a future filled with success both in volleyball and in life. Thank you for being an incredible teammate and friend, and I look forward to seeing you shine even brighter in the days to come. We love you so much, so of course we got you kids. So some well-deserved accolades for Aubrey Baird and Martina Vasquez as they uh, wrap up uh, senior night. Of course, there's still some more volleyball to be played, so you'll be able to see them out on the floor a few more times. 
With that, we are going to wrap things up this evening. Again, I want to say a big thank you to all four of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters making all of our Ace of Sports broadcasts possible here on Hicksville Community Television. They are the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Thanks also to APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at aptmfg.com slash careers. Thanks to the Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy, right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Call them at 419-542-6218 for information on flu shots, COVID boosters, and more. And, of course, Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, a world-class facility located in Hicksville's Industrial Park and online at www.arcsolinc.com. Also a big thank you to the Sherwood State Bank. They uh, pitched in and uh, they, uh, well, they covered everybody's ticket for the uh, student body. All the kids, uh, all the students here at Hicksville were able to get into tonight's volleyball action for free courtesy of the Sherwood State Bank. So we wanted to pass along a thank you to them as well. And congratulations to the fourth grade black and red volleyball teams here tonight taking part in the uh, pregame ceremonies. Uh, we want to uh, wish all those girls continued success in their young volleyball careers. And thanks to the Hicksville Athletic Department for allowing us to be here, Mr. S Overmeyer and Haught, giving us the space and allowing us to live stream the action for you here tonight. And finally, thanks to all of you for uh, joining us. Hope you enjoyed the live streams today. And if you did and you haven't already done so, uh, please consider subscribing to the Hicks TV YouTube channel. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. You can hit the uh, button for notifications. That way you know whenever we schedule a live stream, a sports live stream, and whenever we post new content to our video on demand library here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel as well. For our many subscribers, thank you so very much. And again, if you haven't done so, consider joining us. We'd love to have you as part of our Hicks TV community. You are, after all, the community in Hicksville Community Television. So with that, we're going to wrap things up. Uh, again, uh, in the early session, the JV match went to the Aces, winning game one, 25 to 12, and game two, 25 to 14 for a two games to none sweep. And the Lady Aces do the same on the varsity level as uh, they sweep uh, the East Side Blazers, 25 14, 25 21, and 25 10 for a three game to none victory in the varsity match. And again, huge congratulations. Aubrey Baird, 150th kill or ace tonight, 150th ace tonight to set a new school record. And I think she added a couple more after that. So congratulations to her and again to her and Martina. Best of, uh, best of luck in whatever the future has in store for those two young ladies. I know both of them are probably going to go pretty darn far. So with that, we're going to wrap it up. Our next sports live stream comes your way tomorrow night. Christopher and I on the road down at Paulding High School for football. The Aces against the Panthers will be on the air with our pregame show at about five minutes before 7 p.m. Friday night right here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. So until we talk to you again tomorrow at that time, again, thanks for joining us. Go Aces. Congratulations to the seniors. And until we talk to you tomorrow, for Chris Warner operating the camera and overseeing the live stream, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing all of you a very good night and good sports.